Hi, welcome to Chibi Cafe. I'm Jody, and today we'll be making Japanese bear pan with caramel and custard in the middle. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you get all the updates on all the other recipes that I'll be doing. Let's get started. So what you'll need is 160 mils of warm milk. You want to get this between 30 and 40 degrees centigrade, that's about 86 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so, you know, nice and warm on the hotter end of warm. You don't want it too hot because you'll kill the yeast. You want a um, teaspoon and a half of instant yeast, 20 grams of melted butter, 20 grams of sugar, and 20 grams of sugar. And here I've sifted together uh, 200 grams of strong bread flour and 50 grams of like cake and pastry flour just because I want to keep it a little light. Okay, and now we're going to mix all that together. First we are going to add our yeast. I'm just going to add the instant yeast, which is a teaspoon and a half. Good milk and 20 grams of sugar. That just feeds the yeast and gets it all nice and activated. And then I'm just going to mix it together and let it rise for a bit. And then when that rises, uh, we'll come back and mix the uh, dry stuff together. So, as you can see, the uh, yeast is nice and frothy. That was about, takes about five to ten minutes. Now we are going to mix it all together. I'm going to take the sugar and just sift that into the flour, which the flour has already been sifted. Just getting rid of the lumpy bits. And now I want to mix the just a pinch of salt over the side. And I want to mix the butter. and yeast all together. So I'm just going to mix this in here with my hands. And what makes this a sweet dough is the, um, the use of the milk. Okay, so this is our sticky ball. As you can see, it's quite sticky. Now I'm going to use the strong flour. And you want to flour your work surface. Work surface when you're doing this. You don't want too much. But just enough. So we take our sticky ball. Roll up the sleeves. And there is a method to this. So you want to use your hands. And just work this back and forth. Yeah. So regularly need kneading technique, but then after you've done that a few times, you need to pick it up and whack it. Okay? This just helps the elasticity of it. You're going to do this process for about five minutes. The reason why you whack it down is just to get the air into it, and you want to sort of Pick it up so that it wax down longer. And then knead it back into a ball. And as you can see, we're not at the right consistency because it's breaking apart. You want it nice and elastic. 
Okay. And also to note, if it's wet and sticky, because I have worked with some recipes that the dough is starts out really, really wet. Um, the longer you do this process, the drier it will get. You just have to keep working it. So yeah, it's nice. The dough is nice and soft and pliable, and you can stretch it without it breaking. Oh, and that's what you want. So I'm just going to roll this back in a ball. Just put it back in there. Little cling film or saran wrap over the top. You don't need to oil the bowl or anything like that. And you want to let it rise for half an hour. What I do is I boiled some water so it's nice and steamy. And we're just going to give it a nice steam sauna bath. You don't need that much in the bottom of the pan. So, I mean, just let me pick this up. Sorry, we are going to move it. So, I mean, I'm. See, I don't have that much in the pan. So, all we're going to do is put that on top. And then I am going to pop this in the oven. The oven hasn't been on. So, and this will just keep it nice and toasty. Because we want it to rise. Okay, and we are going to leave that for half an hour. So this is just a quick and easy um, custard cream for your cream ponds. Wait, uh, in here I have one egg. 20 grams of sugar and 20 grams of condensed milk and I want to mix that together. So I want to mix this all together real well. And then I'm going to sift in two tablespoons of cornstarch. So this is two teaspoons of cornstarch sifted and I'm just going to mix that. In so all the lumps and bumps are gone. So here's the 200 milliliters of milk. And I'm just using whole milk. And I want to mix all that in. So you just stir this on high till it comes to a boil and you stir it constantly until it thickens up to the consistency that you want it. So I've taken my custard off the heat and I've just sieved it through a sieve into a different bowl and um, I'm just going to set it aside to cool. And you want to put a bit of cling film on it to stop the skin forming. Okay so it's doubled in size. Um, if you stick your finger in it and the air comes out then it's ready. If it doesn't then um, you just leave it in. Alright, leave it for another 10 minutes. So, I'm just going to take the scraper and scrape it out. So, I'm going to divide this into six equal pieces um, because I am doing something a little different. If you, you just adjust it depending on what um, size animal you want to make. If you're, um, if you're just doing cream buns where you're not decorating it or forming it into anything, then just eyeball it, it's a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just sprinkling a little bit of flour on the work surface. I'm taking this, cutting off a little chunk, which I will use for ears. So I've got six of these here. And you just want to roll it out. A little flour if it gets sticky. nice disc. This is the uh, custard cream and caramel or Dutch Dutch. It's a nice good decent sized blob on that. 
And then just gather up all the edges and pinch it all together. When you got it all pinched together, you'll see that it's got a bit of a long bit at the bottom. If, uh, if your ice cream cones have a nice one. It's the ridge on the bottom, just take a knife and lightly scrape it so that it sits nicely. And then what you want to do is you want to set it in there and it will sink and that's fine because when you let it rise for the next prefing, it'll rise up and when it bakes, it'll puff up as well. So it sinking is not a problem. And then you just want to do that for the others. So let's clear off some of the cone scrapings. You can either roll this out with a big rolling pin, small rolling pin, or just use your fingers and sort of like this. You can use your fingers just to spread it out. And just to pat it out. Like that. If you don't have a small rolling pin or a rolling pin. So again, I've rolled that out. Let's get a nice blob of the custard mix. Gather up all the edges and pinch them all together. Another ice cream cone. Set it in there. And then just let gravity do the work. Okay, now for the ears. You should have 12 of these little extra balls. Just roll them up. Like so, maybe a little, make them a little oval-ish. Stick them in the middle on the top. Like so, so that they're on the top, not on the sides. So nice in the middle. And then you just want to do that for all the rest. So, again, just take one, stick it in the middle. These pieces are quite sticky, so. And if they aren't, just um, sort of stretch it out. Fold it over so that you get a little more of a wet piece. Roll it up nice and light. And then stick it on. And that should be, yeah, that's sticky. And they're right on the top, in the middle. Okay, so, you want to cover this with cling film. just to stop them from drying out. And put them somewhere warm to proof for 20 minutes. Okay, so here these are after the second proof. Um, if any of the ears have sort of 
gone off to the side, then you'll just need to sort of push them back towards the center because they are going to puff up when they uh, when they bake and you don't want the ears falling off. So if you just go around and do that. Then after you've gotten all your ears uh, readjusted, then you just want to take an egg wash, which is one egg and some water whisked up, and you just want to gently brush over. all of your little guys. And this just helps it get golden. Okay. And now I just want to stick this in a 180 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, so these are cooked. As you can see, some of the areas have popped off, so we're going to have to um, stick those back on. I've cut one in half so that you can see you've got the caramel and it's sort of sunk down as well into the cup the barrier so and it's very very tasty light and tasty so it's not really a big deal if they pop off during baking um, it's more annoying than anything and what you can do um, is if you really wanted to uh, when you're proofing these um, just stick little toothpicks in um, the ears and then so that they're sticking through and then just bake them that way uh, you might have a little little squidge out of the um, caramel but you'll just have to clean up um, otherwise you need to wait till they're cool and then you need to take some powdered sugar and just a little bit of water until you make a nice thick paste when they're cool you just Take, a, take an air, dunk it in, and stick it on. But they have to be like absolutely cold, cool. Uh, and then you just let it harden, and they'll stick that way. So we'll do another one. So I've stuck it into the little paste. And because I am going to be using this glazed paste for um, other decoration on this, um, it's okay if it squidges out. Okay, so now for the decoration. Now I've taken the uh, powdered sugar uh, mix that I made to glue the ear on, ears on, and I've just thickened it up by adding a lot more powdered sugar. So now it's really, really thick, as you can see. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking this and I'm just putting a little dollop here sort of trying to work that into a circle if any drips on the side you can just wipe it off so then another one I'm going to rest it on another bit of cling film. Okay, so now that they've dried, I've got some icing sugar that I've made really thick like the other stuff, and I've just dyed pink. And I've got my white stuff. And this stuff is pretty flexible, so you can move it around. 
as well. So, and you can decorate these any way you want to. Just going to sprinkle some more sprinkles on top of this one. And when it dries, then I will um, put on the eyes. Okay, so here I've got some milk chocolate, which I've melted, but I've kept thick. So I've just put this in the microwave for about 20-30 seconds, stirred it around. And it's a nice pasty um, consistency. Depending on your microwave, you'll just have to work with this. I mean, it cools fast, so if you melt it more than it needs to be, just let it sit. So I've got a little chopstick here. I'm just scooping up some chocolate and making a blob for the eye. Scraping it and just doing a little blob in the middle. For the nose. Yeah. It's got a nice little blob of chocolate and it's hardening fast. So you want to work quite fast with this. At the eyes. and the nose. And if it hardens up, just stick it back in the microwave, which I need to do because the chocolate's hardened. So here's the finished product, the cream caramel bear pond. And uh, we've decorated it with chocolate and sprinkles. And don't forget to like and subscribe the video so that you can get all the other updates on all the new stuff that I'll be cooking. And have fun in the kitchen!